Why repent? What would be the harm in just burying it? <laughs> no one ever knows, right? I get it because when we think about repentance in the church today or in most places, the first thing you might think when you hear the word even is, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Everybody's going to know the horrible, disgusting thing that I've done and no one will ever talk to me ever again. <laughs> I'm going to be canceled, right? That's what you're probably thinking when you hear the word repentance. Is that really what the Bible talks about when it talks about repentance? Because when I look at the Bible, when I read it, every time repentance is mentioned, blessing is attached to it. See, by very definition, repentance is to turn away from something and to turn to something good, to turn away from death, really, and to turn to life, to stop doing this thing that's hurting you and to go the other way. That's a good thing, right? In the Old Testament where it says, if my people who are called my people would turn from their wicked ways and, and turn to me and repent, I will then send the rain, send the harvest. That's a good thing. In Acts 3:19 and 20, when Peter is preaching, he says, repent so that the time of refreshment would come from the Lord. I know it's scary to think about. And I'm not telling you, go on social media and just start telling everybody what you've done. No, go to people that love you, people that you know love Jesus, and tell them and repent because there's a blessing. There's something. I'm not talking about health and wealth. I'm talking about the fullness of life, the thing that God is calling you to, that maybe you feel like you're just hitting brick wall after brick wall. On the other side of repentance is life, is the thing that God is calling you to. And it takes courage and humility, I know. But when you go to somebody you love and you share and you go to the Lord and you tell him, I want to turn from this. So don't just look at repentance as something that's gonna hurt you. Remember, this is actually grace and mercy and love from the Lord that makes a way for you to come and say, this is what I've done. I don't want this anymore. I want what you have for me, Lord. Because I know we all have this door that we keep locked shut and behind it, we're like, don't look, don't see the horrible thing I've done. Jesus kicks that door down and says, I want her, I want him. So today, when, when you start thinking about repenting and you hear this thing, like it's almost become taboo, where you're like, oh gosh, let's not talk about repenting. Remember, it's a good thing. In the Bible, every time the Lord is talking about repentance, there's a blessing attached to it that He is calling you to. So turn to Him today and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I love you. I repent and I want all that you have for my life.